Hey, so it's uh, Michael Wong at Southeast Veterinary Neurology, and we're ask, answering your questions about intervertebral disc disease. Today's question uh, comes to us through our website uh, for our frequently asked questions on intervertebral disc disease. Uh, this one is from Deb, um, posted July 8th, 2018. Uh, it says, hello, we live in Australia. My doxy had surgery for intervertebral disc disease in May 2016 after she lost the use of her back legs but still had deep pain perception. After surgery, she was created for eight weeks and recovered well, pretty much back to her normal self. In May of 2018, she had a bout of pain when we were picking her up and her back end became wobbly. Her tail was droopy. We created her again for four weeks with Prevacox and Tramadol and she recovered well. We started walking her for short walks and she seemed fine, but last week she went downhill again and is now in pain. She has strength on her right if we stand her up, but her left leg she is holding up and is weak on that side. Our vet is unable to do anything other than resupply medications, for which she has been on for six days now, but she is still in pain and no better. We are creating her. What are the chances of recovery if a second operation is done? So your question has a ton of great questions in it and a ton of great learning points. So the first point is that with surgery, so like what you did in May 2016, even if we're unable to walk but can still feel our back legs, there are excellent chances of making a 100% recovery, just as your dog did with surgery. So we typically quote, if your dog is unable to use the back legs, is unable to walk, and can still feel them, with surgery, there's a 95% chance of getting better. So that would have been our exact recommendation had you been here in Miami. So fast forward two years, uh, in, in May of 2016, when we uh, went downhill again. So dachshunds, unfortunately, even with surgery, they can slip a second disc. So that's likely what's happened in your dog, is that she slipped a second disc elsewhere in her back. And with surgery, there's about a 15% chance of that happening again. Without surgery, there's about a 50, 50% chance of slipping a second disc at some point in a dachshund's life. So it's not uncommon that, you know, whether it's two months, two years, you know, five years down the road, a dachshund that has recovered well from slip disc surgery has another problem. That happens. So the second point is that trying rest and medications can work just like your dog got better for you know three months um was getting better with rest and medications but without surgery there's about a 50 percent chance of having another problem and that seems to be what's happened with your dog so your last question is what are the chances of getting better if a second operation is done. And we know it stinks to have to go through surgery twice, but we really need to treat your dog as two separate problems. One that we had a 95% chance of recovery and we had a 100% recovery two years ago. We need to look at this as, this is likely a new slipped disc. And since we've had a recurrence of the last three months or four months since May of this year, um, it got better but it's happened again and we're still in pain for the last six days despite rest and medications those are things that would if you were here in miami we would lean you towards hey we should be doing an mri to prove is it a new slip disc and if it is a new slip disc do surgery again we would also quote a 95 percent chance of a full recovery despite it being a second surgery being that your dog is walking but just painful, but not getting better. So hope this helps. Uh, sorry your puppy's going through this a second or even a third time, uh, but the way I would look at it for your dog is as long as it's another slip disc, the likelihood of fixing it is excellent. And uh, if it's not getting better, you should go meet with that neurologist in Australia and consider another MRI and surgery.